Aha! Well, this is gonna be interesting. Well, hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. If you saw the video from last year, we had a little issue with one of the spindles getting stripped out on the mower deck. So I've got a new spindle for that. So we'll go ahead and see if we can get the spindle replaced. Boy, not looking forward to this. this That was the easy part. Ah, I need a pulley. A pulley puller. This is making it work at its finest. Um, so, <laughs> trying to rig up a sort of makeshift pulley puller of sorts. Okay, now we should be able to use a ratchet. <laughs> it's working! So now we'll just remove the little bolts that are holding that down. <laughs> we'll be in good shape. That is too cool. All right. There we go. All right, so now that we've got all this cleaned up, we'll go ahead and, uh, fit this new spindle in and see if we can screw it down and then we'll have to reattach that pulley. Grab the new spindle. It should sit in just 
just like that. It was recommended that you not use the old screws for some reason. I'm not 100% sure. But if it was recommended by the manufacturer, I'm going to go ahead and follow their instruction. Come on. Does it even fit? I think the reason why they recommended getting new screws is because this does not come threaded. You've got a tapered screw that you have to thread into this aluminum cast. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Man, it's always something around here, isn't it? Let's see what we've got that will work. just gonna hold it on so that I can line up the other screws with the screw gun and impact drive them into it. There it is. it out if we strip it out then we're done for I love how precise their milling is and how it all just lines up perfectly just a smidgen A fan of this process at all. Goodness gracious, that was something else. Okay, so now we've got our spindle all screwed in with these self tapping screws. Now we just need to get our pulley slide on over the top. It just slid on over top of that just fine. So I'm hoping that that's going to be okay. We'll, uh, we'll put the blade on first. That way we have some kind of uh, resistance. And then we'll uh, go ahead and screw on that top bolt that holds the pulley down. And hopefully we will be in good shape. Now, where did my mower blade go? Okay, well, I finally found my blade. I had it sitting up on the uh, back of my workbench for like six months and apparently it fell down behind there and got wedged in between the two boards, but we found it. Now we're just gonna slide it right over here and get it locked into these teeth just like that. All right, where's my little block of wood? You're gonna sit right here. Get wedged in there. I feel like this is cross-threading, good gracious. That feels better. Yeah. There. I think that's going to hold it there. Flip it over. Do the same thing on this side. So we'll slide this pulley down right over the top here.
that was something else. Ooh, I was not expecting it to be that difficult. You would think two bolts, four screws, pop it off, pop it back on. Now we had to uh, rig up some way to make the old spindle not spin as we're taking off the bolt. I had to break that bolt free. Then we had to rig up some kind of pulley puller because the pulley was wedged on there. So we made that out of some old C-channel and three bolts. We pulled that all off, got the old spindle off, went to put the new spindle back on. The new spindle didn't have threads. So we ended up having to uh, bolt on the spindle temporarily and then use an impact driver to drive down the threaded screws or the self-tapping screws into the aluminum cast uh, housing for it, for the spindle. Got that all attached without managing to strip it. Then we had to find the mower blade, got that put back on, and then the actual pulley and the pulley bolt no, my back hurts. Almost done. I'll just pick up our tools, get the mower back in here, and get the deck reattached. And then we should be golden. <laughs> something right so now the uh, clutch for the mower deck is not engaging I can hear it clicking but it's not engaging so we got to figure that out but I think I'm gonna save that for another day <laughs> um anyway so that's how we uh, we fix a mower deck spindle the John Deere e 180 it is in desperate need of some tender love and care so i'm going to uh pay attention to it for a little bit and see if i can get this stinking clutch working i hope we don't have to buy another part it sounds like it's engaging or trying to engage so maybe there's just something caught up in it. I, I don't know. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining in any way, please hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe, see more of what we have going on here on the homestead. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully with a running mower. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.